Hi, Dr. Danny here, coming to you live from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I am at the annual American Board of Integrative and Holistic Medicine Conference. So now in this video, I'm going to tell you the key points to remember from Dr. Alan Gaby's lecture on nutritional medicine. Dr. Alan Gaby is a leader, one of the world leaders actually, in nutritional medicine, evidence-based nutritional medicine. He's here to speak this week. I've got to have lunch with him yesterday. We chatted about a few different things around nutritional medicine topics. And I'm going to tell you in this video the most important thing that he said. Okay, so a lot of you out there have probably felt like you've been hypoglycemic before. This thing called hypoglycemia syndrome, which a lot of doctors don't even think actually exists, it happens when you start to feel sweaty, irritable, um, anxious, uh, brain foggy, when you haven't eaten for a while. So there's new research coming out and Dr. Alan Gaby has a theory about this that it might not actually be that you're suffering from low blood sugar, but you're actually suffering from high insulin. So why is this? Well, hyperinsulinemia causing all of these symptoms to make you feel like you're actually hypoglycemic if you're not diabetic. This is a non-diabetics, guys. They can actually be caused by bad foods. So fructose, sucrose, bad carbohydrates, and caffeine can actually wreak havoc on your metabolism and cause you to have these symptoms if you're not eating all the time. Usually these symptoms are relieved by eating. So usually people who feel fatigued, shaky, irritable, and they feel like they have to eat and then they feel better after they eat, this is the kind of people we're talking about. Okay, so what is the solution to this? Well, the solution is to wean yourself off of caffeine, number one, especially if you're having more than one cup of coffee a day. Number two, you want to avoid foods with sucrose and fructose in them. These are these highly inflammatory sugars that we have way too much of in the North American diet. And thirdly, you want to choose healthy whole grains, sprouted and whole grains like rice, quinoa, millet, all those lovely whole grains instead of breads, pastries and white refined flour and pasta. If you do these things and you really start to change your diet over a period of a few weeks, you'll start to see those symptoms going away. The other pearl to take home is that Lots of people suffer from low magnesium without even knowing it. And this can lead to symptoms like migraine headaches, fatigue, muscle cramps, problems getting unwinding at night, um, winding down for the evening, falling asleep. The other take home point that lots of you are gonna be really happy to hear about is about eggs and cholesterol. So eggs contain things like lutein that are great for memory and your eye health. And until recently, doctors thought that eggs are bad for your cholesterol. However, it turns out that they're not, except if you're diabetic, which you have to watch a little bit. So the studies are now showing that unless you are a diabetic, the amount of cholesterol in eggs, even if you have high cholesterol, is not going to affect your cholesterol levels in a negative way. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that when you cook your eggs, you want to try not to scramble them. The reason why is because when you scramble your eggs, the yolk, the type that the, the part of the egg that has the fat in it, it gets exposed to the air, it gets exposed to oxygen, and it starts to oxidize. When cholesterol in the yolk gets oxidized, that's when it's bad news for your cholesterol levels, especially if you are diabetic. So especially if you're diabetic, and even if you're not, and you're eating lots of eggs, like eggs every morning, like we do in our house, you wanna make sure you're poaching your eggs, boiling your eggs, soft or hard boiled, so that your yolk is not getting oxidized to that air before you eat it, and causing oxidized cholesterol. The oxidized cholesterol is the only kind of bad cholesterol we have to worry about. So there you go, poach your eggs in the morning, and if you're suffering from those hypoglycemia type symptoms and you're not diabetic, try cutting out caffeine, the refined carbs, and the fructose and sucrose, and you should be feeling better in no time.